Hey, how are you? I'm good. Hey, um, you know, when we were out there last week, I mean, you definitely have some numbers to work with at your position. That's got to be a really good thing. What's the competition been like and, and how, how are you able to maximize those numbers? You know, the, the competition's been really good. That's that's kind of the thing that, uh, you know, you'd like to have at every position to where you got guys that, that you feel very confident putting in the game. And uh, I've got a number of guys that I feel that way about. And, and you know, the thing that the, the, they've all positioned themselves to, you know, to, to compete and, and to be in a position to play just with the things that they did in the off-season program. They, uh, you know, they're, they're – change in their bodies from the end of the regular season uh, to, to when we started spring ball has been pretty remarkable what the strength staff has done with those guys, with my guys and really all the guys, but seeing what they've done with my group has been really impressive. So, uh, you know, like you said, competition is the key word. We don't want any guys getting complacent, feeling like they've, you know, got a spot locked down. We want, we want uh, competition every day and that's what we're getting. From yeah, Coach, uh, just talk about Cam McDonald for a little bit and just the progression that you've seen from him. And also, what do you think his ceiling potentially might be? You know, um, I think I think getting a chance to be a full-time starter last year was huge. I think, I think there's only so much football you can learn in practice. Obviously, practice is critical, but there's a point where you have to go in the game and you have to be out there and feel – uh, you know, and Cam had played obviously before last year, played some, but only in spots. So I saw a lot of growth in him uh, as a route runner, as a blocker, all the things that you that you look for. And then, you know, he's one of those guys like after the season, you know, he went from low 230s to low 240s. He's playing in the 242 range, 243. So with that brings a lot more physicality to the run game. And, and, and not only the run game, just route running. He's just a – he's a matchup problem at times because he's so big and he's got length and he's put on the extra mass. He's – you know, when guys get stronger, they change direction better. They, they, they get out of breaks better. And he's showing all those things in the first four practices. And, you know, I think the sky's the limit for him. There, there's still things that – in the inline part of blocking that, that he's still learning because he just hadn't done a lot of that. But – We've made a huge emphasis, you know, in spring ball, the early part of spring ball, on just the physicality. We want to, we want to be able to line up in any formation, run the football effectively, uh, and and you know you got to have tight ends that can do that. And he's he's really stepped up. I think he continues to develop as a route runner, continues to develop as an inline blocker, and all the things that he's got to do. But you know, the sky's the limit for him. Hey, Coach. Hope you're doing well. Um, coach uh, Norvell has mentioned Jackson West a couple of times, obviously an early enrollee. How is he adapting to the speed and physicality of the uh, college game uh, compared to high school? He's adapting really well. He's, uh, you know, he's not a guy that you have to, to push into being physical or, or uh, you know, <laughs> he's uh, – you know, the first couple of pad practices, he, he was a guy that immediately, and we saw this on film in high school, he takes the fight to the other guy. He's not a guy that waits around and uh, whether he's attached or whether he's on the perimeter, whether he's in the backfield, he's always moving downhill. He's playing physical. He put on, you know, uh, 10, 12 pounds from the time he got here in early January until spring ball, which probably is a little too much for, for a freshman to gain that much that quick. But, um, you know, he's a very determined guy. He wants to, to make an impact early. And, uh, you know, he's, he's shown a, a really, really good deal of physicality early in, in spring ball. Hey, Chris, you, you mentioned Cam and what last year was for him in terms of getting that experience. But along with Cam, uh, Wyatt gets experience at tight end for the first time ever. Preston Daniels, a true freshman, playing a lot. For all three of those guys to – get that experience last year. I guess, how have you seen that translate over to familiarity with what they need to do uh, so far in spring? Yeah, it's been huge. I mean, it, just just to come back, you know, after a year and have the same system in place, uh, the terminology, the, you know, we, we ask a lot of those guys in terms of where they line up and, and what they're doing. And with that, there's a lot of things that, from a technique standpoint, that they have to perfect. So, you know, they having that year under their belt, having to, uh, 
having gone out and played in ball games, like you said, and field it. You know, there's times where where uh, you, like I said, you just have to go out in the game and feel the things that that happen to you and what what all those guys did that you that you just mentioned. You know, why it's between why it's in the low 240s between 240 245. Cam's the same 240 245 fluctuates. Preston's up over 250. Jordan Wilson, who didn't play last year, is up over 260 right now. We we want to be a group that that can function well in the passing game, but also you know, bring physicality to the run game. And so they've been able to do that with, the, you know, just continuing to, to transform their bodies. And, but, but like you said, having the, having the experience is huge. Having a comfort level with the system is, is you can see the difference. They're all just a, a lot more comfortable uh, having, having the year under their belt. We'll go back to Ira. Back uh, when you guys were recruiting for this freshman class, one of the things you said you were concerned about was not being able to evaluate all these guys and see them practice or play in person just to see the physicality. So with that in mind, was there any doubt about Jackson until he actually got here and put on pads? You know, And how happy were you with what you saw? There, there really wasn't too much with him just because he's one of the few guys that on, that on high school tape you could see him. I mean, there was a different level of aggression, uh, a different level of just going after people and trying to finish. You know, the one thing that you'd never know is, you know, those defensive ends he's going against in high school for the most part, or maybe, you know, a 220 guy, maybe a 230 guy at the most. And now you come to the college level as a, as a freshman and, and these guys are a lot bigger, a lot stronger, more powerful people. But, you know, typically it translates over and, and everything's fine. And, and everything I've seen from him so far, there's there's no backing down. It doesn't matter who, you know, we put in front of him. He's he's playing physical and being the aggressor. And, you know, people aren't going backwards quite as much as they did in high school with him because because you got guys like I said that are big and they push back. But but he's learning, and, and uh, so far every, everything I've seen from him, I'm real real pleased with. Thank you. Have a long time you know, Coach, you never got a second week of, of spring last year, so I really don't know what kind of barometer I'm going to try to have you use here, but you guys set your standard and, and set the tempo for what you wanted this team to look like in January of last year. Um, you preached the message, but how different is it one year later? I mean, they have a true understanding, I would feel, for how you guys want to run in practice and, and how things have to be. I mean, have you have you seen that or, or kind of felt the, an urgency or more clarity from the team overall, just in terms of what's trying to be accomplished? Yeah, even even though we missed spring ball, you know, you still got uh, obviously a lot of time with them in the fall, and and so definitely think that that the guys under you know have a clear understanding of of how we want to practice, uh, the tempo, you know, that that we want to work at uh, both sides of the ball. We we just want uh, we want to a culture of competitiveness and physicality and, and, you know, through the first couple of padded practices, that's, that's what I've seen. I've, I've noticed, you know, the guys are, the guys are, are, are willing and want to bring that and they understand. And we talked to them a lot about, you know, when we walk out of the tunnel in, in that first ball game, we want to be a team that, that, that we know we've invested the work in being physical. We know we've invested, um, the things that we need to do in practice and, and to come together as a team. And so uh, I definitely feel that. I think, I think we're still definitely evolving in that process. Spring ball is a great, you know, a great way to do that because it's hard. There's no games to get ready for. And, you know, they, they have to push through things that aren't easy. But uh, you get spring and then you go transition into summer. And then, you, you know, you're where you want to be when training camp comes. Right, we'll go back to Tom Burrow. Hey, Coach, uh, one guy that's hard to miss when you're watching the tight end group is Marquise and Douglas. Uh, you talk a little bit about his development, what you've seen out of him in the first four days of pr spring practice and, of course, off-season conditions. Yeah, he just, you know, you talk about a big man, really, really big, long guy that, that uh, is really athletic. And, you know, Mark Easton is, is a really smart guy as well, so he's picked things up quickly. Um, and I've been pleased with him. You know, I'm trying to kind of work him in uh, with all the other guys. So he hasn't got a, got a ton of reps, but but what I've seen from him so far, you know, inline blocking, a big physical guy, 
Uh, and then he maneuvers in the pass game a little bit better than you would think, just looking at his size. So I think he's another guy, you know, we're very excited about that, that has an eye ceiling. All right. Thank you.